Friend of the bride reveals secret at our wedding. My wedding was this Sunday. It was supposed to be my special day. It was supposed to begin the unity between me and the woman I love. Everyone was happy. Our families got along. My darling girlfriend would soon be my wife. The theme of the wedding was based on our favorite movie that we watched on our first date. The priest said that one famous line, speak now or forever hold your peace and my girlfriend's best friend raises his hand. He walks towards the front of the room. The color drains from my fiancé's face. He told us my wife had violated him and forced herself onto him at a bar the night before. I'm disgusted. I can tell from her reaction to all this that it is all true. I left the altar and have been hiding out in my apartment. Friends and family are trying to get in touch but I do not want pity or sympathy. That should go to the friend who suffered. I was in love with this woman. She was perfect for me and I loved her so much. But now this reveal has come and destroyed everything. Why would she do that to someone? Would she have done that to me in the future? She has been blowing up my phone begging to explain herself, but I just do not know what to do. Would I be that asshole if I asked my pregnant wife to move out because she and her best friend decided to test my loyalty? My wife is pregnant with our daughter. Initially we were really happy and excited about it. But then, she starts acting like a nut job. She gets angry and irritated for small things, insults me when she doesn't like the food I make, starts acting insecure and accuses me of losing attraction for her. For example, she wanted to eat chicken sandwiches for dinner last week. Well, I made chicken sandwiches. So she eats all the sandwiches, leaves me nothing and told me that they tasted like shit. I wasn't pissed because she left me nothing. But if she didn't like them, why did she have to eat everything? When I asked her this she told me that she was hungry. Okay fine. She does this every time. Eats everything I make and calls it shit. I don't argue with her because I work for more than 80 hours a week and I really want to have some peace when I'm home. So, yesterday, a random girl starts at flirting with me after the gym and asked me if I wanted to meet up with her for some drinks. I rejected her and told her that I was married. And when I got home, my wife started to hug me and apologize. When I asked her what happened, she told me that her best friend suggested a test for my loyalty. So they asked a mutual friend to flirt with me and asked me out. And I passed. Yay. I'm really pissed. I'm done with her antics. Would I be the asshole if I ask her to move out? Just married, wife cheats on me with girl. My wife, 30F, and I, 29M, just got married on Tuesday. On Thursday, two days after getting married, a mutual, and very close female friend came to visit us let's call her A. A was staying at our place before a flight in the morning. She brought a bottle of gin, that over the course of the night was consumed between A and my wife. I died drink it all. Later in the night the two girls ended up cuddling on the couch. I was in the other room letting them have their drunk girl bonding time. After a while I heard my wife moaning, very sexual moans. I know my wife, and I know her sounds and I know that she was moaning in sexual pleasure. I came out of the room, to the couch where they were cuddling, and saw that they were kissing. I am 90% sure I saw a hand rubbing my wife's crotch area, don't know if it was her hand or A's hand. The thing is, they have a history of doing this. In the past they have hooked up, only one time that I know about, but it was at a party and they started making out in front of me and another roommate of mine. A was the initiator. My roommate, male, and I were shocked and enjoyed the show but the whole time I was very concerned about my then girlfriend's ability to consent, both women were very drunk. It seemed like she was just playing along. I was not thrilled by that first incident, but it never really came up again, and even though I was uncomfortable with it, A is an attractive girl, same age as my wife, very petite and unthreatening, and my wife, then girlfriend, didn't seem bothered by it so I let it go. Men of Reddit, what's the one thing you hate about being a man? If there's any one thing, it's that I never feel like I'm desired, if I don't make a move, no moves will be made. Lack of emotional support, people always think you have some hidden agenda. And when you voice frustration and upset, people take it as anger. When I go to pee and have it all lined up, just for it to shoot out a 40 degree angle. Having to kill the spider, bruh I'm scared too. Tons of pressure to lead, to earn, and to provide, all while walking on a very narrow rope. I hate how uncomfortable I can sometimes make women, I DK when walking alone at night, like sometimes you can just tell when they start walking faster and try to give you a wide berth, I completely understand why, I don't blame them, but it always makes me feel bad or like I should say something to ease the tension, but that'd probably make it worse. Oh don't worry I'm not going to assault you. Baldness. 
I miss having hair to run my fingers through, in my teen years I grew it out because I knew I wouldn't have it for the rest of my life, I miss playing with it, I miss the warmth, and the cooling, short hair actually acts as cooling fins compared to being bald and sweat just pouring off, I miss the sense of it being blown in the wind, I miss the slight protection against bumps and scrapes, cabinets are the bane of my existence, when I had a girlfriend, one of the nice things she would do would be to drape her hair over my head, so I could reimagine having hair. Is your biggest cheating the system moment. When I was in college, I had this meal plan where the school essentially took my actual money and turned it into campus dollars that could only be spent at school dining halls and cafes. I didn't mind so much until the end of the semester, when I was informed that any unspent campus dollars would go away. I had more than a hundred bucks left, and only a day to spend them. Here's what I did. I went to the nicest campus restaurant, the one where you're supposed to take your parents when they come to visit. Basically, a real restaurant with waitstaff, that also happened to take campus dollars. I got the most expensive thing on the menu, and then called the waiter over. I asked him if I could tip him in campus dollars, and he said yes. I asked him if he would have immediate access to those campus dollars, in the form of actual money, and he said yes. So I made him a deal. I gave him a monster tip, and he gave me half of it back in actual money. Many years later, I am still proud of this. I made a server's day, screwed the man, and got my money back. Men of Reddit who proposed and she said no. What happened afterwards with your life? Oh I have a story about this. My friend A had been with his girlfriend B for years, so he decided he wanted to propose. What he didn't know, is that B was also thinking about proposing to him. A proposed first, and B freaked out because she had already said her proposal and bought a ring, so she said no. Over the next week, B freaked out more and more, and refused to answer A's calls and messages. I then decided to use the money he had saved up to buy a plane ticket to Europe. What was supposed to be a three-month trip through Western Europe turned out to be a year-long trip around the world. One day, a says that he's coming back and B decides to go and wait for him at the airport and propose to him there. It turns out that while being in Peru, I met a girl and they fell in love almost immediately, and got married in Peru. Q five years later, A and his Peruvian wife are still happily married and recently had a baby, while B hasn't still quite forgiven herself for ruining her relationship with A. Men of Reddit, is it boring to see your girlfriend slash wife's naked body after a while of being together? Why or why not? I think boring is too strong of a word. You get accustomed to seeing it. Think about good food, you know how it tastes and looks so it's not surprising to you anymore but you still want to eat it every chance you get. Nope. 21 years in and I'm still hoping she's going to have to bend over and pick something up. No, because boobs. Not at all. Been married 18 years and I can't help but stare when she changes. I just stop whatever I'm doing and blatantly stare. She smiles a shy flattered smile and continues changing. I'll often tell her somewhere in there how beautiful she is. Nah. She's still as beautiful as she was 20 years ago. There's a lot of stories on her body. Stretch marks, C-section scars, and plenty more. However, they tell our story of two mid-30s young adults who were once teenagers that have dismantled every brick thrown at us. I was happily single until I read these comments. What are some cheat codes you've found in the game of life? Never bring anything into work, that way when you leave earlier than usual, it doesn't look like you're leaving for the day. No one stops a guy or girl carrying a pizza, it can get you backstage to concerts. Instead of paying for Amazon products, become a product tester and get them sent to you for free and actually make a few hundred dollars a week from it. I applied at tryhomebasics.com. If any website offers a percentage coupon code like 10% off, try higher values like 20% off, they often have them. When receiving a call from a solicitor, simply press 9, the call will be dropped and your phone number is then put on the company's do not call list. 95% of companies support this feature, I love it. 